Uh, the next type of venous rupture that we'll be talking about is a splenic vein. Okay, sorry, uh, thrombosis, venous thrombosis, right? So I've already told you guys what thrombosis is. Thrombosis is when a clot, a clot is formed in a blood vessel. All right, that's what is a thrombosis. So now we are trying to say this splenic vein, that actually what? Splenic vein is just literal, okay? Splenic vein actually takes, um, okay, it's actually the venous drainage of the spleen, okay? So here we are now saying there is a thrombosis of the splenic vein, all right? So you can see this is a thrombus. You can see this is a thrombus in the splenic vein. All right, so we are now saying if there is a thrombus in the splenic vein, what are the symptoms? Okay, how will it present? What will be the effect on the patient? All right, so let's look at splenic vein thrombosis from the definition to the cause, the symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and possible complication. All right, so for the definition, we said our splenic thrombosis is a blood clot formation in the splenic vein, all right? Splenic vein thrombosis. Now, the splenic vein is actually what drains blood. This splenic vein drains blood from the spleen to the liver, okay? So what could be the causes of splenic vein thrombosis? It could be due to trauma, like splenic injuries. It could be due to what? Infections like inflammation of the spleen, that's what is known as for splenitis, right? It could be due to um, inflammations, okay? Inflammations actually spread. It could be due to cancer. It could be due to blood disorders. It could be due to what? Splenectomy. Right? So it could be that they actually did a surgery um, to cut out part of the spleen, and this was actually what the complications, right? Now, symptoms include abdominal pain. Like, if a patient has what? Splenic vein thrombosis now. What are the things they will complain about? So, they'll complain about what? Abdominal pain. Um, they'll, compl they'll complain about nausea and vomiting, right? There'll be fever. There'll be an enlarged spleen. Why? Because there's a thrombus. So now, blood is not being drained from the spleen the way it's supposed to be drained. So, the next thing is what? Blood is just like a backlog of blood in the spleen, all right? There'll be very sharp bleeding. There could be. I'm not saying all these things must be there, all right? We are just trying to look at possibilities of how this thing will present, okay? So, what is the diagnosis? How can you be able to confirm a splenic vein thrombosis? All right, most of the times, you know that what the spleen is buried deep down there in the abdomen. So what you want to go with is mostly what imaging studies, like CT scan, MRI scan, ultrasound, angiography, okay? There's some blood tests like what? Plea blood count, coagulation studies, liver function tests, okay? Then the rest. Okay, then what is the treatment? Of course, there's thrombus everywhere. So you are dealing with thrombus. So you don't want thrombus to be there. Okay, so you can use what? Anticoagulation uh, therapy. So this anticoagulation therapy, they are the ones that will basically what be against coagulation. Then thrombolysis. Thrombolysis is more of like, the coagulation has already formed. So as the coagulation has already formed, you are now using a medication that will break down the already formed coagulation, all right? That's why it's another thrombolysis. The splenectomy is total removal of the spleen, then um, management of the underlying causes. All right? Then some complications is what? There, there could be spleen infarction, that means the thrombus actually cause some blockage in the parts, right? Spleen infarction, gastric viruses, varicial bleeding, portal hypertension, liver dysfunction. Okay, 
So that's it for disciplining vein thrombosis.